inventors. That's what we're looking at today, elves and inventors. You're watching Cardboard Craving, and we're going to crack open this beast and have a look. Let's get started. Let's slide that out. There we go. Get that over to one side. Let's have a look at the back. Woodland Warriors vs. Ingenious Machinists. Two 60 card decks, 10 tokens, two deck boxes, strategy insert, two spin down life counters. That's what we're going to look at. Let's have a go. Alright. What we got underneath here is the deck boxes. Pretty sweet looking. Some wicked art. Nice. I think they are pretty look good looking. That's an, a good piece of art. Hopefully these ones are thick enough to keep the sleeves in as well as just the cards. That looks to be the case. Let's get that out of the way. Maybe we'll chuck him up there. Just like that. This one here. Psycho looking goblin dude with a little blowtorch welder. Looks like he's going to either burn someone's face off or he's going to fix some shit. So he's pretty sweet looking as well. Colours on there. Look at that. Blue and red. Nice. What's this one? Just green. That's pretty nifty. That is pretty sweet. That is some good stuff. Get him over there. Out of the way. Here's your guide. We don't really want to look at that just yet. This one, we want to see the cards. There's the two main dudes. There's the life counters. Let's see if we can get this off. Get that out of the way. The deck's out. Life counters, are they both the same? Spin down counters. Would have been good if they had different ones corresponding to the decks, but hey, can't always be a winner. Alright. Let's take a look at this first dude. Azuri Renegade Leader. Regenerate another elf. Or you can tap three green and two. Elf creatures you control get plus three plus three. Gain trample until end of turn. Now that's what you want. Because you want to get that damage through. Trample it. Trample it hard. Trample it good. Alright. Let's have a look at the Goblin Welder. He's going to fix some stuff. And he's going to fix it good. He's going to fix those elf faces with a bit of fire. I'm sure that's what he's thinking. Choose target artifact, a player controls, and target artifact card in that player's graveyard. If both targets are still legal as this ability resolves, that player simultaneously sacrifices the artifact and returns the artifact card to the battlefield. Alright. And he needs to tap him for that. Costs one red. One one. That's some pretty sweet art. You got the foil happening there. And if we can get it to reflect refract in the light. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Alright. We get these out of the way. Put him in the sleeves, keep him clean, get him up there. Alright, let's take a look at the elf's deck first. It's like opening. Oh, that was stuck at the back. Alright. First thing we want to do is get rid of this land. Lots of land. Don't need it. No one likes a land. No one likes a land. Well, not when you're busting packs anyway. Got to have them in your deck, otherwise you can't really do much. Tranquil Thicket. Alright. Let's have a look here. So... Dwyan Guiltleaf Dane. Reach other elves you control get plus one plus one. Whenever Dwyan Guiltleaf Dane attacks, 
you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. Nice. Elvish Arch Druid. Other elves get plus one, plus one. Well, only ones you control, but. And tap it, add one green mana for each elf you control. Glade Heart Cavalry. Regal Force. When Regal Force enters the battlefield, draw a card for each green creature you control. And Gladeheart Cavalry was... Let's have a look, we didn't read that. When Gladeheart Cavalry enters the battlefield, support 6. Which is put a 1-1 counter on each of up to 6 other target creatures. Whenever a creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it dies, you gain 2 life. Nice. Sylvan Advocate. Uh, vigilance, as long as you control six or more lands, Sylvan Advocate and land creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Nice. We got two of those. Talara's Battalion. Cast this spell only if you've cast another green spell this turn, and it has Trample. And Yeva, Nature's Herald. And flash, um, you may cast green creature spells as though they had flash. Alright, that's pretty handy. Oh, Oren Reef, the vast wood. Add one green mana and uh, put a 1 1 counter on each green creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Nice, if you're dropping a few um, tokens. Now we're on to the commons, we can have a quick th flick through these. Uh, we got Elvish Aberration, Elvish Branchbender, Fierce Empath, Elvish Mystic. Let's get that a bit closer to the camera. Elvish Mystic again, Elvish Vanguard, uh, Azuri Archers. We got a few of those. Elvish Branchbender again, Ivan Lane Denison, Ivy Lane Denison. Crosan Tusker Kajua Seed Sculptor Leaf Gilder Morlet Lanawa Empath Wild Heart Invoker And now we're on to the uncommons Dwanan's Elite And we got a couple of those Jagged Scar Archers Viridian Shaman Lead the Stampede There's more commons Naturalize Nature's Way Nature's Way again Nisa's Judgment Makes his judgment again, and then some tokens. A mere token. More mere tokens. We've got four of those. And an elf warrior. Alright, wonder if they're double sided. No, they're not. Alright, that is the elf deck. Looks alright. And we just pop that out of the way to one side. Here we go. The Goblin deck. Goblin Inventors. Pia and Kieran Nala. Pia and Kieran Nala. Legendary creature. Human artificer. Let's get all these lands out of the way as we do. Where well, they're in the middle this time. Great Furnace. Great Furnace. Seat of Synod. Swift Water, Swift Water Cliffs. Dark Steel Citadel. 
foundry of the consoles. Phyrexia's core. Alright, that's the not basic lands. And what have we got here? Pia and Kieran Nala. When Pia and Kieran Nala enters the battlefield, create two 1 1 colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens with flying. And tap one red and two, sacrifice an artifact. Pia and Kieran Nala deals two damage to any target. Alright. Got two of those, eh? Nice. Dark Steel Plate. Indestructible. Equipped creature has indestructibility. Or has indestructible. Um, equipped is two. It costs three to cast. Mere Battle Sphere. This is back from the uh, Scars, I think. When Mir Battlesphere enters the battlefield, create four 1 1 colorless Mir artifact creature tokens. Whenever Mir Battlesphere attacks, you may tap X untapped Mir you control. If you do, Mir Battlesphere gets plus X plus zero until end of turn and deals X damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. Nice. Scuttling Doom Engine. That's a pretty crazy looking piece of art right there. Scuttling Doom Engine can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. When Scuttling Doom Engine dies, it deals 6 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. That's 6-6 six, six for 6 mana. Solemn Simulacrum When Solemn Simulacrum enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. When Solemn Simulacrum dies, you may draw a card. I remember when this card came out actually, and I'm pretty sure it was one of the top dollar cards in the set, like at about $25 or something. Might be remembering wrong, but uh, we'll soon find out. Thropter Assembly. For six mana, flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control no Thropters other than Thropter Assembly, return Thropter Assembly to its owner's hand and create five 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens with flying. And it's a 5-5. Five, five. That's not bad, I think. Temple of Epiphany. Epi yeah, that's a... I don't know what Epiphany is. Uh, Temple of Epiphany enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, when Temple of Epiphany enters the battlefield, scry one. Hmm. Shivan Reef. Now we're on to commons. Ethereum Sculptor. Giraper Gear Crafter. Fairy Machinist. We got another one of those. Uh, Trinket Mage, Riddle Smith. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Treasure Mage. When Treasure Mage enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost six or greater. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Trophy Mage. When Trophy Mage enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card with converted money cost 3. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Whirler Rogue. Yes, so. When Whirler Rogue enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one colorless Thropter artifact creature tokens with flying. Um, tap two untapped artifacts you control. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. Oh, not a bad card. You got a lot of artifacts happening in here, so artifact spells you cast cost one less to cast. Um, Barrage Ogre. Uh, sacrifice an artifact. Barrage Ogre deals two damage to any target. Maverick Throptist. Or Thropterist. Improvise. 
when Maverick Thropterus enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one -one colorless Thropter artifact creature tokens with flying. Reclusive Artificer. Reclusive Artificer enters the battlefield, you may have it deal damage to target creature equal to the number of artifacts you control. More commons, Eagle Wellspring, Eco. Inventor's Goggles, Michael Synth Wellspring, Mia Sire, Auto Focus, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Neuroc Replicator or Replica Pirate Spellbomb Filigree Familiar Voyager Staff Artifices Empathy Galvanic Blast Welding Sparks Shrapnel Blast Token Artifact Creature Thropter Another Thropter Nice. So that's the Goblin deck. Both look like pretty good decks. Um, I don't know which one's more powerful. We'll have to test them against each other and um, see how we go. Thanks for watching Cardboard Craving. We'll see you in the next video.